Hey guys, Sean B and today we're back into the beginner account. I hope you are excited for this series. I read the comments in the previous video, super funny. And today I have so much to tell as well as my plan in the future. And I discover even more things I can share for beginners to progress faster, more efficient in the early game. Is there any actual new player who are watching this? Let me know in the comment section because I know you guys out there, you play for a thousand days and you'll be like, look at Sean B just meddling with early game. Is there any new player out there who are watching this? Let me know in the comment section, please. I need to know. So in the past three days, I six star two new units, which are the Naomi, Wind Marshall Cat and Spectra the Fire Griffin. Also, I've been using Varad as requested by the majority of viewers. So Swift Blade, Speed Defense, Defense for me, nothing crazy, you know, just simple Swift Rune. After using him for a while, I realized that Tyrone is still way better in TOA. The slow debuff, the glancing, it's just so much better, man. This is like a budget Tyrone in TOA. My Naomi is using the Rage set that you get from finishing the Necro B10 challenge. So I put her on Rage, maxed out the runes, and put on some other stuff. She doesn't need good crit rate at all, even with down Second Awaken. So she's very easy to rune and she hit really hard in Giants. As you can see right here, I am 30% done with her Second Awakening and I don't like it. I think I wasted all the energy because getting skill up for Marshall Cat is a pain in the ass. I, I just can't get it. And I don't want to spend my precious guild points on Marshall Cat. So I'm not sure when I can actually two way this unit. Instead, I'm now spending the energy on Spectra. I should be done with Spectra by tomorrow. And hopefully, we can get TOA Heart done in two weeks, potentially, like day 14 or day 20. Hopefully. Spectra is using Swift Speed, Quick Damage, and HP. I need to max out the rune. And I need to farm some artifacts. I don't have Y artifacts on this Spectra and I'm disgusted by myself right now. How can I not have artifact? Also tomorrow, I think I should be able to get B rank in War Boss because I have put runes on all the possible unit that can be used in War Boss. I maxed the level. I have three water unit here and potentially these four star unit as well. I put runes on every single unit possible that will be in the first team for War Boss. And I'm currently sitting at rank C, but we are very close to rank B right now. So I should be getting B rank tomorrow. And if that happens, we can summon our Transcendent Scroll. I'm very, very excited for that. If you're excited for the Transcendent Scroll summon, hey, smash the like button, baby. We're going to do it tomorrow. Now, let me showcase my Giants B10 team. I'm still farming B10. I'm not farming B12 just yet. It is really hard to survive the crystal and the boss. So I'm just doing B10 right now and the runes drop are not too shabby. It's usable, not too bad. And whenever I want to do that, I swap the rune onto Orochi because he provides much more damage compared to Lapis. The team is pretty standard. I replaced the Shannon, Bernard and Bella for the front Lauren because they consolidate all the support that you need into two units. Usually you need Shannon for attack buff, Bernard for speed buff and also defense break and Bella for the consistent defense break. And now with Fran Lauren, you have the attack buff, immunity protect yourself from the freeze and the attack by pushback and defense break from Lauren. So it kind of consolidate all the support capability into two unit and the other three slot, you can just put damage dealer. It doesn't matter what you put. If you have nat five, definitely use them. But the other three slot are for damage dealer. The Dark Inugami Crow would do much more damage than Orochi and Sigmaras can do much more damage than Varad and Sigmaras can do the AoE control that Varad can do in the Trash Wave. So this team is around a minute and 20 seconds. It is not the fastest but you don't really need to be very very fast anyway because if you burn on your crystal way too quickly you got nothing else to do. And that is good enough for me. I've been farming I think a lot of Giants B10 for the past two days, around 1000 crystal. And I do get some good runes. As you can see from the Varad, the 21 speed swift rune is kind of crazy. And some other usable rune that I just try to fill up the slot on the rest of my team. For the Necro challenge, I just put random runes on my Lapis for the multi-hit. 
I put the runes on Orochi to do damage, and I put some random blade rune that I had for my Rigel to be the one that put the slow debuff on the boss. I really recommend you try to complete this boss as soon as you can because you only have two main damage dealing set in the early game. It's gonna take you a while to farm an actual damage dealing rune set like a fatal set for your damage dealer. So these two set will carry you for a little while and they are very important to get early as soon as possible. For the Dragon's B10 challenge, this is the team that I use. I put the runes on Orochi back to the Lapis and I put just Blade Rune on my Vert so that I can get the maximum crit rate for the Vert to work in Dragons. With Spectra AoE slow debuff and Lapis AoE attack by control, it is very easy to do Dragon's B10 early on as well. I failed I think one run in like the 50 run I did to complete the Summoner's Away challenge. So it is definitely not too bad. I won't be farming dragons though, so that is more than enough. Okay, here's the important part that a lot of new player would definitely miss out on. First is the guild shop. So you have to go here and buy the guild shop as soon as possible. You can't see it now, but this is this building right here. The guild magic shop building. And this building gives you amazing runes. And this is just incredible for early game. And also, it will give you Grindstone or Enchanted Gem. And they are very, very good early game as well. Even though they might be blue, anything is better than nothing, right? The room became pretty good. Didn't roll into flat anytime at all. So go and build your magic shop. And also, once again, I refresh shop once in a while to find myself maybe a scroll to summon for fun, buy two star fodder, and potentially get a good rune. One thing that people forget to do is to clear the lantern in the labyrinth. You should clear as many as you can or you should clear everything. Because if you do easy mode, it is really, really easy. They give you like level 20 enemies. and it is super super easy but i definitely recommend doing normal if you can and trying to find stages that doesn't have a special condition to them it is much easier compared to the other one so let's say this is a normal stage without any condition you can treat it like a toa stage so you go in with a cc team and you should be good to go the stage that i did for my hard mission for the transcendent scroll in the Summoner's Way mission was the time limit. I think it was time limit. You have to do like secret dungeon type of mission in this labyrinth. And if you make it to floor 11, which I found was pretty easy, you can actually treat it as a hard stage in labyrinth. Okay, enchanted gem box. Oh, will rune though. But blade though. I have a lot of blade rune right now. I'm just gonna go with the will. Determination. Oh my god, these three are very, very good. Oh, it's garbage, but it might be useful. You never know. I have my Lapis rune up and I have Varad as a damage dealer. You can definitely run any AoE damage dealer you want. And the rest of the team are for support. If you can make it to stage 11, you're good to go. So for the first five, it's really, really easy. This is like Secret Dungeon, right? The first like five wave will be one shot by pretty much anything and Lapis is the thing that everybody has definitely use her I think from like stage 7 onwards it is where that is really really hard actually not really let me see here this is stage number 6 and we are still doing very significant damage on the enemy and Lapis is using the rune set that everybody has if you don't have a rod once again any AoE damage dealer will do like a Sigmarus, Tyrone actually not Tyrone just anything that you have. You probably have some AoE damage that you build up. So use that like Lucian, for example. You can definitely run that here as well. We're at stage number eight and it is definitely getting a little bit harder. Also, don't auto, okay? If you want to manual to save your cooldown, for example, because the AI is really dumb. It definitely will use the AoE skill when enemy has like one unit left. So if you want to manual, and use your cooldown wisely. Definitely do that because the game will give you more than enough time to get to wave 11 without putting it on auto. I think I should make it to wave 
12. I'm not sure yet, but we are at wave 11. This is where it's gonna make or break your Labyrinth Heart mission. So the enemy is doing a lot of damage. As you can see, it's getting much, much harder. But if you have two AoE damage, I think you should still be fine. Lapis is going to carry us here, potentially. Once again, I'm ordering. Definitely can manual this. Okay, come on, Lapis. I know you can do this, girl. Come on, bring it home. Come on. If you get it to stage 12. I think I didn't even finish wave 12. I think I lost here in whatever stage I did it before. But I think I lost here. And the mission in the Summoner's Way still counted as a success. So as you can see, after you pass wave 10, it gets significantly harder. But it's okay. You don't have to care anymore because it's all good. And please do it, okay? Please go and do your lanterns because you will never know. I might actually get a Violent Rune here. So Grindstone and i don't have any rune right now for any of these you will need some fight set for your future billiger anyway and the fire is pretty shit. gonna keep that for now you never know 18 attack stat is 18 attack stat in terms of two-way farming i'm currently doing spectra because i believe this is the unit that's gonna allow me to do dragons to break toa hard and Spectra is just amazing, amazing overall. With high base speed, it's going to be good to outspeed enemy in Guild War as well. And I'm probably going to put all the Devilmon I need on Spectra. Because I don't want to level up skill of anyone else. But Rad is almost max skill, so that's not going to be a problem. I don't want to build the Louise. Depending on what I get from the Transcendence Scroll, I'm not sure what I'm going to get. But a lot of Nat 5 are pretty shit compared to a max skill to a spectra so i'm planning to do just that max skill spectra she's gonna carry me so hard into your way and dragons potentially so that's my plan for now i can't do b5 for two-way spectra it is really annoying because the left tower of the two-way dungeon for b5 can absorb attack bar and do some massive damage i can't believe it my front just got nuked so quickly even though I have pretty good stat on her, I know I don't have a lot of defense, but still, she got completely shut down in like 3 rotation. And because the tower absorb attack bar, I can't move, and it moves constantly. So it's pretty ridiculous how that thing just completely destroy me. So I have to do B4, it's gonna take a little bit longer. I don't like it, but I have to use the energy. Don't forget to use this energy. A lot of people forget to do this in the early game, but use it even though if you're doing b1 b2 at the very start use it don't let it go to waste because you're gonna go to sleep wake up the next morning and then you're gonna get a couple more and you want to use it all the time don't let it cap please but that is it for now thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode hopefully tomorrow you will get to see the transcendence grow summon in the meantime i'll be finishing my two-way spectra conquering toa hard very very soon so stay tuned for that as well once again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye